Favorite ice cream flavor? Probably peanut butter. I would like peanut butter cups of it. Hometown? Um, Rockford, which is like Grand Rapids, Michigan. What events do you do in track? Um, I'm kind of a hurdler, kind of a sprinter. We'll a see. really good one. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what I end up running this year, but I'm a freshman. And your favorite animal? Cheetah. A cheetah, because you're so fast. That, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In middle school, that's why it was. What is the coolest thing you did this summer? Um, this summer I went skydiving for the first time. Uh, it was really scary, but very fun. And my ears popped a lot. And it was very expensive, but... <laughs> Worth it? Hit up the Instagram if you want to see a video. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty worth it. Your favorite Bible verse? Um, I have a lot, but the one that I use the most regularly is First Peter 5, 7, which says, Cast all your anxiety on him, for he cares for you. Well, I'm super excited to have my friend and teammate Jillian with me today to talk to you guys about her story when it comes to overcoming lies that she was told and just really starting to lean on God to find out what her self-worth is and place her confidence in him. So we'll just let her tell us her story. Okay. Um, so my story begins in about eighth grade. So um, I did not grow up a Christian at all. Um, I signed myself up for small group in eighth grade because I just like loved like the thought of God and stuff. Um, but before that, I think is like really where my story begins because um, I was just like super lost, like so lost in the world. You can't even like get worse than where I was. Um, I was super caught up in like popularity, um, super caught up in my image. Um, super obsessed with how people looked at me. That's like literally all I thought about boys. I thought about boys all the time in middle school and early high school. And it got to the point where it was just like super unhealthy. Um, I would go home and like cry because like the most popular girls like didn't invite me to hang out with them that night. Um, it was really bad. Like I like loved myself. Um, so Coming to, like, Christ was kind of, well, obviously a godsend, mm -hmm. um, but it really changed my view on everything. Like, before that, um, I was putting, like, all of my self-worth in all of my confidence in other people, and I think that's something that's really important to understand is where you put your self-worth, if you put it in people, if you put it in your sport, if you put it in boys, that's where you gain your confidence. So, um... If all you think about is, like, boys give you your worth, boys think I'm cool, boys think I'm beautiful, well, what happens when they don't think you're cool, when they don't think you're beautiful? That's, like, a super, like, confidence destroyer. Um, so, that's something that I think is really important. Um, so, anyway, I signed myself up for small group, and that's when I started learning about God, and about Jesus, and what he did for us, and... I couldn't wrap my mind around how someone, like, could love you so much for, like, all the things that I've done wrong. And having that and having him as a friend and as, like, a teacher, like, Jesus is just with you all the time. And, like, it's it's so amazing. Um, But I have a couple of verses also. Um, Ephesians 3.12 says, In him and through faith, in him we may approach God with freedom and confidence. And I just think that's so important. Um, we approach God with freedom and confidence when we put our worth in God. Um, when we see how beautiful we are, how important we are to him, that's where we're going to gain our confidence. So um, taking it away from the worldly things and putting it in the heavenly things, the things that matter, the eternal things, that's like really the most important thing. Um, do not lose your courage, then, because it brings with it a great reward. You need to be patient in order to do the will of God and receive what he promises. So, throughout the Bible, he promises many things to us. Um, we have to be confident that he's going to um, put those things to play. Um, we have to be confident in our God. Um, we've seen him do such big things throughout the Bible. We've seen him do big things, like, with other people and other people's lives, and how could that be different than our lives? So being confident in 
um, what he can do and his mission is so much better than being putting your confidence in people. Like, people let you down all the time. All the time. And they've let us down a million times. Um, but I can't think of one time where God let me down. And that leads me to another story, kind of. Um, so I was doing really well in my faith through like 8th grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, a little bit. And then I had some really good friends and I loved my friends. Um, I kind of got rid of those old, like, popular friends. Um, not that that's bad. Being popular just means that you're well-liked. But in middle school, it's more than that. It's, like, being, like, the brattiest and, like, the prettiest, which is so annoying. But, um, <laughs> so, I came, like, 10th grade. Um, I started feeling like my friends were putting their self-worth and their confidence in um, other places than small group and God and, and um, our friends, they started putting them in like drugs and alcohol. And 10th grade's pretty young to start doing that. And they started not inviting me to things and that was just a huge like, that hurt me a lot. I was at a very low place because I felt as if like all my friends were leaving me for substances and that hurt. Um, but through that, I um, did put my confidence in God, and I did. I stuck with Him, and um, I heard something from a friend one time that was like, "God puts you in these waiting periods. Um, he takes you away from old situations. He puts you through this waiting period that seems so lonely. You seem like at your your lowest place. I think I had one friend, and it was my boyfriend at that time. I had no girlfriends. I would come home like Friday, Saturday night and just sit alone in my room, which is nothing wrong with that, but I wasn't used to like not hanging out with friends on um, weekends. And so it just felt so lonely. Um, but I learned to embrace that time. It was a time where I could um, grow in my faith. It was a time where I could um, talk with God, read my Bible more. And what God ended up doing for me is I went on a church trip and a bunch of other girls who I had known growing up, um, wouldn't say I'd hang out with all the time, they were all going through the exact same thing where all of their friends had left them for those substances and for poor choices and they were, they just felt lonely and we all found each other and I, and we're still all best friends, we've been best friends for three to four years now, all of us. Um, and our relationship was built on God, too, which was so cool um, because that's where we all found each other. But that just, like, shows how important it is to, um, like, don't put your confidence in worldly things. Don't put your self-worth in worldly things. Um, when God takes something away, he's going to replace it with something better. And I don't know. I feel like that's pretty much it. Um God can do mm -hmm. amazing things in Miss Callie over here, <laughs> one of my great friends. Um, I'm so glad he's brought me here. Um, but, yeah. Tell him a little bit about how you started getting more involved leading other girls. Like, okay. how you gaining confidence gave you the confidence to go out and help others. Yeah. Okay, so um, my small group leader... Um, in eighth grade was super super helpful to me teaching me things I looked up to her so much um, and as I got older it's always something I wanted to do I always wanted to like give back for that reason but the group that I was leading and I hope none of my girls are watching this <laughs> but the group that I was le that I um, got signed up to lead for was a group that was all pastors kids like pastor's grandkids, um, pastor's nieces, like everyone who was super involved in the church, super high up there. And so I started like doubting myself, like doubting my self-worth because I was like, I don't know anything. Like I just wanted to be there for the girls more than not necessarily like teach them stuff. But I knew that I didn't have the knowledge that like an older person who'd been like living out the faith for a long time would be. 
so I was like so down on myself I had no idea like if I was gonna do it I like it was so bad <laughs> like I remember like talking to my friends I'm like guys I can't do it like these kids are gonna know more than I do about the bible but I had this um our first night I decided to keep doing it and um the first night I met the girls we were doing worship and um I saw all my girls like which I didn't even know their names yet, but they were all like raising their hands, worshiping God. And, um, <laughs> that's what I heard the other night when you set off the fire alarm. I did set off the fire alarm. <laughs> anyway, so they're all worshiping God. And I have like, people hear God in different ways. Ways They see him like through scripture. They see him in like visions. They, I don't know how other people see him. Um, but I, sometimes I get like voices in my head that's like not my own voice and I believe that that's like how God communicates to me and he said to me that day he was like you're exactly where you need to be and just like knowing that God put you there for a reason I mean it boosts your confidence but <laughs> um I knew, like, that I was supposed to be there, and I was supposed to be leading those girls, whether it was for, like, a friend, if it was to be a supporter, whether it was to teach them something they didn't already know. Um, I have wisdom over them. I've gone through the things that they're going to be going through, and so that's really why I wanted to do it and why I wanted to give back and um, teach them about God and everything he's mm -hmm. done. Yeah, I think that's awesome because a lot of times you don't, necessarily feel qualified to do the things that God's asking you to do and they always say God doesn't call the qualified he qualifies the called yes and yes yes so I think that's a huge thing where if you have enough confidence in God it doesn't matter the skills you have he will help you along the way it was kind of like how last week how you just got to get to the start of the line before you actually go out and then mm -hmm. God will meet you there mm -hmm. and help you through that and I think that's kind of what he did helping you. Yeah, I did not want to do it, <laughs> but yeah. But it ended up being very worth it. Oh my gosh, so worth it. I'm, I'm in love with my girls, but I'm so sad because I'm at school and I can't see them. Yes. Hopefully they'll be able to watch this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll send it. <laughs> well, thank you, Jillian, so much for coming. Yeah. And thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to add any comments if you guys have questions or go ahead and check out the Instagram. You can follow Jillian on Instagram, find out about her skydiving experience, oh, yes. and we will see you guys next Sunday.